for more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Palestinian neighborhood of Silvan in the occupied East Jerusalem has become the latest target of illegal Israeli demolitions. At least 13 Palestinians were injured and three arrested by security forces during demonstrations against illegal demolitions by Israel on June 29th. Israeli forces, accompanied by bulldozers, began the demolitions in the morning, citing a court order. 17 Palestinian-owned establishments had received demolition orders issued by the Israeli-controlled Jerusalem municipality on June 7th. The demolitions of the structures will affect 13 Palestinian families consisting of around 130 people. Israeli authorities also plan to demolish close to 100 Palestinian homes in the Al Bustan area, citing illegal construction and lack of mandatory building permits. The idea is to construct a religious themed King's Garden National Park. The plan will benefit illegal Israeli Jewish settlers living in East Jerusalem. It will also displace over 1,500 Palestinian residents of Al Bustan. Approximately 33,000 Palestinians in the whole of Silvan neighborhood are also under constant threat of authorities demolishing and confiscating their homes, property and lands. The demonstrations and sit-in protests on Tuesday which began in Al Bustan spread to other parts of Silvan like Batn al Hawa and Bir Ayyub. The protests were met with excessive force by the Israeli forces and riot police who used tear gas, stun grenades metal batons and rubber-coated bullets to suppress them. Palestinians assert that the demolitions are applied to ethnically cleanse the area of Palestinians and take over all of the land to transfer it to Jewish settlers. This would change the current demography of the area in East Jerusalem from being Palestinian majority to a Jewish majority or a Jewish-only neighborhood. Palestinians complain that Israel does not consider any proof of residency presented by them as valid, despite some of them dating back to Ottoman times. At the same time, there is a massive discrepancy in the number of building permits issued to Israeli Jews, numbering in the tens of thousands in comparison to those issued to Palestinians. This indicates a deliberately biased and systematic policy which openly supports and encourages Jewish settlements of areas such as Silva. The demolitions are also happening in complete violation of international law. Silvan is not the only Palestinian majority neighborhood being targeted by Israeli settlers and authorities. The adjoining neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah recently sustained violence and raids by the Israeli security forces attempting to expel the Palestinian residents. The resistance in Sheikh Jarrah was met with violence and repeated crackdowns by Israeli forces which spread across East Jerusalem. Israel also attacked Gaza in May, launching airstrikes for 11 straight days, killing at least 250 Palestinians and leaving 2,000 injured.